You can love it, you can hate it, but you can still create apps for it. In this video, we are going to see how to add a macOS target to your Xamarin Forms application. Let's go. While macOS is a supported platform for Xamarin Forms, it's not included in the default templates. That means if you want to add a macOS target to your application, uh, you have to add that manually. Uh, hopefully with .NET MAUI, uh, the desktop will get a little bit more priority as well. So maybe it will be included by then. But for now, you will have to add the uh, macOS project manually. But no worries, I'm going to show you how to do it in this uh, video. So here I am, I'm using the dark mode sample from another video. Um, if you want to check that out, how to work with dark mode, please check the link that's appearing on your screen right now. And this project already has a shared project, which you can see that's selected right now here on the top. Uh, we already have an Android and an iOS target and a UWP target. Um, I've added that in another video as well. So here we're going to see how to add the macOS project. So on your solution level, right click that and we're going to say add new project. And in the screen that comes up, we are going to find the um, Mac section. So here on the left is a Mac section and we are going to select app and then we're going to select uh, Cocoa app. So we're going to choose that one. We're going to choose next. Uh, so the app name is going to be the, the name of our project as well. So to be in line with the rest, I'm just going to name this dark mode sample dot Mac OS. And um, whenever you're going to release this, this becomes uh, important, like your organization identifier. For now, just leave it at this um, or make it something that is, if it's not filled in automatically, just make it something uh, reverse domain name. So com dot your name, whatever. Uh, this is used for whenever you're going to release it to the app store and it's basically your unique identifier for this app. Um, so if you want to show this app in your doc, which you probably do, you can say, okay, maybe choose a different name to show there uh, because you know the, the project name isn't very pretty. So you can just say, okay, I want to name this dark mode sample and now it will show up nicely uh, whenever you have an icon on the desktop or in your doc. Uh, so the rest of the stuff, extension, I'm not going to bother you with that right now. And also we have the target. So here you should choose the minimum target that you want to support your macOS app uh, with. And um, if you want to use actual dark mode, then you're going to have to choose 10.14 uh, because that's the version that has uh, dark mode support. So I'm just going to click next. Um, here you have to do some settings. Uh, you could choose to uh, change the project name here actually. Uh, the solution name is fixed because we are adding it to the solution. And here you can choose where this um, project will land into your folder. So uh, this all, all looks good. I'm going to use Git as a version control and I'm going to click create. So what it's going to do now is going to generate the template for um, actually a, a normal macOS Cocoa based uh, app. Uh, so you could also just write a, a, a separate macOS app if that's what you want. But we want to see how this works together with Xamarin Forms. So um, what we want to do now is first add the Xamarin Forms package because you know each project needs the Xamarin Forms package because that is what contains the renders for all the controls. So uh, we need to install that. So we are going to right click on um, well, not the references on the project actually, and I'm going to say manage NuGet packages, and I'm going to browse for Xamarin Forms. Uh, latest version at this time is 4.8, so I'm just going to add that one. Um, it will install that on the macOS project. Uh, make sure that the versions over all these projects have the same Xamarin Forms version so that you don't run into any trouble there. Um, so there it is, boom, installed. Um, so the next thing we want to do is, you know, because Xamarin Forms, uh, you want to have all your code in this shared project right here. So we need to have a reference to, to that project to um, hook up all of our UI things. So now we're actually going to references and we're going to click add reference and we're going to go to the projects tab and there's actually just one that we can reference from here. So we're just going to do the shared one, click OK and now we can um, yeah, get to all of our code that is living in that shared library. So that's awesome. Um, so now the next thing you want to do is go into your main class that is created for you. And in between this init line and the main line, we're going to add a new line um, and we're going to type ns application dot shared application dot delegate 
is new app delegate. So this way we are hooking up the app delegate, uh, which is needed to initialize uh, Xamarin forms. So this is in place here. And now we're going to update that actual app delegate for more bits to use for um, Xamarin forms. Um, so this is going to be a, a lot of code that we want to add. So I'm going to copy and paste some bits. Um, you can find it in the link uh, that's that's shown on screen uh, in the documentation. So um, you can copy it, paste it from there as well. I will try to walk you through what it does exactly so you'll know uh, what is happening. But um, yeah, so don't be surprised if you suddenly see a lot of code appearing on your screen. Okay, so let's get to the app delegate file right here. Um, so this is this is we saw that when the, the template was done generating. Um, and this is like the very um, empty uh, class that we see right now. So let me add the code that I was referring to actually just put that in comments here so we can walk through it line by line. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, add these using statements. So um, let me add these at the top here so that we have these in place. And uh, so here is a note, also add a using for the Xamarin Forms project if the namespace is different to this file. Okay, so we'll figure that out as we go. Um, so one thing that stands out here, so here we also see the register app delegate, which is fine, but here it still inherits from NS application delegate, and we want to make that the forms application delegate because that does a couple of special things to um, hook up the UI in the window that you're going to see. Uh, so we are going to do that, um, and you will immediately see that the IntelliSense is notifying me that we still need to implement all the things. Um, and we will do that next. So let's first, well, basically, I think we can take all this code here, uh, uncomment that. So these are just empty uh, events. So you could use that if you want. So did finish launching whenever your application uh, was finished or will terminate. So whenever it's shutting down, uh, we don't need those right now. So I'm just pasting in this code and you can see a field was added for the window. So we're going to initialize a window that is shown on screen. Actually, let me remove this so my eyes don't hurt from all the red squigglies. Um, and we have the constructor here and we're going to create a style for our window here on line 14. So the window is going to be closable, resizable. It has a title um, and we're going to create that window at a certain rectangle. Um, and I'm guessing this is the X and uh, Y. So this is the coordinates where that window is going to appear on screen and how big it's going to be. So if you want to change anything about this, uh, this is the place where you want to do that. Then we're going to actually create that new window. Um, so with the style that we set with the rectangle uh, that holds all the information about the size and the coordinates and a couple of other things. Um, so that um, I'm, I'm actually not sure what this does exactly, but you know, it's in the docs, so we should trust the docs. Um, and then we are going to set the title so we can choose our own title here. So I'm going to change this to uh, dark mode sample and something with the title visibility. You know, this is all just an example. Um, if you want to do something different here because you know it's going to be uh, different for your situation, feel free to do so. Uh, we also need to add this property for the main window, which is just going to return this window, probably because of some Xamarin forms uh, requirements here. And then we have that event that we actually just removed, uh, but now there are some code in it. So whenever it did finish launching, so whenever your app was launched, um, we, need, we do the forms in it, we load the application. So this is the app object from your shared code. So we're going to load our app right in here and we are going to call the, the base did finish launching. So um, it's going to, to hook into that as well. So actually there's one more important thing that we need to do. So we have a main storyboard in here, which is the typical um, way of creating UIs in iOS and, and macOS. Uh, so let's double click this one. Uh, it's going to open in the, the XAML view. That's not what I want. Um, I can open this with, so I right click on it and I say open with Xcode interface builder. So it's going to open in Xcode because there is a little checkbox that we uh, need to uncheck. Um, so we're just waiting for the document to open here. 
So here we go. Don't panic. This is this is what Xcode looks like. Uh, so this is how how we don't want to do it if you're using Xamarin Forms. Um, and here we are at the application level, but we actually want to click on this window right here. Uh, and this window is not going to be here at the the top right. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, maybe because it's, it's small, uh, but we have the is initial controller checkbox and we don't want this window to be the initial controller. So we uncheck that and we uh, save that change and then we can go out of Xcode and um, it will be changed here for our storyboard and that's all that we need to do here. But it's a very important step, so um, don't skip it. But yeah, that's that's all you uh, need to know there. Um, so actually, now we're sort of done. If you have any local resources like image files, or you know maybe you are using uh, fonts or whatever, you want to add them to your resources here as well. So actually, I think we have a, an image here, the Xamagon color and white that I'm using for the dark mode sample. So I want to paste this uh, into these resources as well. Uh, check that the build action is okay, which is a bundle resource, which is fine. Uh, so that should be all good now. So that's something that you should not forget as well. I mean, you will notice anyway, because your images won't show up, uh, etc. But um, so I think it's time to actually run this. So let's cl um, click the the project selector here. And we're going to set our starter project to the Mac OS project. And we're just going to click run and cross our fingers and hope it works. Okay, so we got two, well, one error and one warning here, which is interesting. So the application name dark mode sample.exe conflicts with another user assembly. So I think we could easily fix that by right clicking on the uh, macOS project and go to the options. Um, and somewhere in here, we can specify uh, what the assembly name is. So probably out. Put. And here the assembly name is dark mode sample, which probably conflicts with the shared project right here. I'm, I'm not sure why this got named like this, um, but let's just add the Mac OS thing here as well uh, and see if that fixes things. And the other one was a warning window controllers unreachable because it has no entry points. I think this uh, warning comes from like the, the native Apple tooling uh, because we unchecked that initial controller thing. Uh, but it actually will be reachable because, you know, Xamarin Forms does it magic and um, it will it will get it for you. So let's try again to run this and see if we got that assembly error out of the way. There we go. That looks better. And boom, here we go. We have our dark mode sample um, running on macOS. And that's it. That's how you add a macOS target to your existing Xamarin Forms application. And just like that, you have a free extra macOS app that you can distribute to your users. So a couple of last important things. So first off, I'll be honest, this example maybe was not the best because the dark mode for macOS was at the time of recording just merged, but it isn't in that 4.8 package yet. Um, so the support will come, but um, so the actual dark mode doesn't work, but this sample shows you how to add your macOS application to your existing Xamarin Forms application. So that at least worked, right? Uh, the other thing is, you know, um, the focus of Xamarin Forms is mostly on Android, iOS, UWP. So you might find uh, libraries from third parties that uh, are not completely compatible with macOS. That's one. Uh, and the other thing is, there's also some uh, stuff in Xamarin Forms that is not supported on macOS. So if you find something that's not working, please check the documentation if that is to be expected. Uh, maybe. You can open a PR to add that if that's what you want, uh, if you really, really need it. Um, so you can check this link down here um, for the support that's everything that's in there in macOS right now. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell if you want to be notified about new content coming in, um, and I'll be seeing you next time.